Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and citations to the hopeful elect. Joe Biden has a new decree, and this article goes into it. This article, which is from BrietBart.com, is entitled Biden Administration. Ask Americans to report potentially radicalized friends and family. President Joe Biden's administration announced their plans to create ways for Americans to report radicalized friends and family to the government in an effort to fight domestic terrorism. So what they're trying to do is anybody that fits the, the label of a radical which, which radicalism is dealing with anybody that speaks out against the government or that uh, pushes for a change in government, okay? Anybody that's labeled as a radical or a hate group or a domestic terrorist, all right, they want people to snitch on them, whether it be your friends, family, all right, because those are the ones closest to you. Okay? And this applies to people that, that speak the truth, man. Whether it be whistleblowers. Okay? And at the top of the list are the Hebrew Israelites. Because we have we have the truth. Beginning with the, um, the true men of the Lord. Alright? The ones that speak in 100% truth, which is us, man. The brothers here at Great Millstone. All right. Because we're, we're speaking about the downfall of this kingdom. Which is prophetic. It's not of our own words. It's of the Most High's words, which is the Bible. Okay. And by doing that, they're trying to link us with... Uh, terrorism man that's why they they have all these damn uh psyops you know with these uh black people so-called black people you know uh killing allegedly killing white people you know and then trying to blame it on the israelites or you know doing you know crazy things like like driving i believe it was a um a jake that drove into uh tried to drove drive into the uh the white house i believe or the um Supreme Court or something like that out down there in DC. Okay. And then try to try to link that with, with the with the Hebrews. Like they call us black Hebrews or lights, man. Alright, that those, those these are all um these are all slanders. Okay, by the by the devil. To forward their agenda, man. To uh to disrupt the the men of the Lord, man, which is prophecy. Okay, let's get let's get Second Corinthians two and eleven. It says, "Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices." Yeah, and one of his devices is to divide and conquer. Okay, they've done that to you Israelites going back when they first got over here. All right, you know they they they, they uh they 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 put the tribes against each other, all right? They put the woman against the man. They put the uh, children against the parents, all right? It's, it's, all, it's all designed, man, to keep us down and to keep us oppressed, man. You know, they, put, they promote wickedness, man. That's why the scriptures call us the, that's why the scriptures call them the accuser of our brethren, which is the Israelites, because they, they constantly want to keep us in a state of going off you know, sinning against the most high. Because these nations know that if we if we are um keeping the law statute commandments as a as a whole nation, then that no nation could rise up against us. Okay. And um it's prophecy. Everything that everything that Esau is doing is prophetic, man. Alright. This is our Psalms 119 and 95. It says, the wicked have waited for me to destroy me, but I will consider thy testimonies. Yeah, because by by uh, 
Joe Biden's administration coming out with this decree. They're trying to get, you know, people that people that might have friends or family that's involved in uh, going out there prophesying on the streets. They want to. They want to. Um, they want those people to snitch on them to the government and 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 uh, get them arrested, man. Okay. And that's why the scriptures tell you, man. Um, as a matter of fact, let me get some precepts on that. Because you can't be telling everybody what you're involved in. All right? Can't be telling people your secrets, man. You can't be letting people know that you go out there, especially, you know, people that's not... It's not uh, believers in this truth, okay? Because that's why King David said, them that hate the Most High, which hating the Most High is pretty much when you uh, refuse to repent, when you don't want to take heed to this word, all right? When you're just out there in the world being a, being a uh, nigga, okay? You hate the Most High, man. And you therefore, you are an enemy to... You're an enemy to... Uh, us and to the most high man all right it says sirach chapter 8 verse 18 it says do no secret thing before a stranger for thou knowest not what he will bring forth open not thine heart to every man lest he requite thee with a shrewd turn all right so it says do no secret thing before a stranger yeah you don't, you don't want to be telling everybody what you're involved in too, man. Okay? Because, like the movie Matrix, okay? Anybody that's that's pretty much not, not involved with what you're involved in is an enemy and a potential agent. All right? That applies to your family members. Okay? Because I got a precept on that. Let's hold that. I'm going to go back to that. Let's... Let's read this. Matthew 10 and 35. For I have come to set a man at variance against his, against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against the, her mother-in-law, and the man's foes shall be they of his own household. Okay? So believers in this troop, whether it be brothers and sisters, all right, you're going to have foes of your own household, man. All right? They're going to they're gonna be mad at you because... Especially if you're younger, you know, they're going to be mad at you because they want you to be a part of this world. They want you to go the way of the world because they're they're in the world. OK, and misery loves company, man. These people, they want they want to put you down back down in misery, man. OK, they want they want you to to fucking uh, be in darkness. All right. And really, they got they got spirits on them, man. All right, because because you're, you're, here it is you're you're trying to you're trying to uh, do the right thing, but you know they they they're not, they're not even putting up a fight, okay. And the scriptures tell you that a, a unjust man is an abomination to the just, and a just man is an abomination to the unjust, okay. So. Let's go back to Sirach, the 8th chapter. Sirach, chapter 8. He's at verse 17. Well, he's at verse 18. It says, do no secret thing before a stranger, for thou knowest not what he will bring forth. Yeah, man. You know, don't be telling people on your job that you go out there in the streets and you preach. You know, that, that, that don't, be, don't be teaching people at your job, man. Okay? Don't be, don't be, uh... You know, and if you got, you know, if you, and if you can, man, you got, if you, bro, for you brothers that got women, man, don't, don't let your woman know what you're involved in as well. Okay? You know, don't let your parents know what you're involved in. Okay, now if they find out, they find out. You know, the spirit reveal it, you know, it, 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 it is what it is. But you don't, you don't want to, you don't want people that love this world to, to, um, know what you're doing because they can't be trusted okay 
Hey, what proves that? Judas is scared, man. He was supposed to be a man in the truth. And he he betrayed the son of the most high. Okay? Not to mention is is, you know, there's agents within, you know, these these different camps, man. You know? And if there is, man, then they, they, they don't understand they, they don't understand that you know you're fighting against righteousness. You're fighting against what's gonna benefit you in the long run. Okay? You know, that's why you gotta watch movies like Judas and the Black Messiah, because it shows you, man, that you know within these different uh organizations there there was uh FBI agents, man, that that give intel to the to the government, man. But the thing is we're a spiritual group, so if you're if you're if you're, if you're trying to give intel to um the, the government, all right, that that's 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 a vain, that's a vain uh action, okay, because we, all we do we we when we get together, all we do is preach the word, man, okay, and we say thus saith the Lord. When the Lord comes back, this is gonna happen, okay. We're not doing that. We're not trying to uh, overthrow the government. And then, and they know that, but for prophecy's sake, these things must come to pass, man. All right, we're gonna get into those prophecies as well about what's gonna to happen to the uh, prophets of the Lord, okay? And it was up to these people; they'll kill us because they they hate the Most High, all right? And they love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil, all right? As a matter of fact. Let me get this next precept. Matthew chapter 6 verse uh, 3. It says, But when thou doest alms, let not thy right left hand. I'm going to read it again. Matthew chapter 6 verse 3. But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth. Yeah. And we're, we're doing alms, man. You know, this is the biggest form of charity, man. To go out there on the highways and byways, purchase your body's living sacrifice, to feed the sheep of the Most High, to give warning to your people, all right? To uh, correct them in their, in their errors. That's love, man. Because we're trying to get as many people of the elect to get right as we can, all right? And that's a form of love because the Most High is going to uh, destroy this place. You know? But it says, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth. Okay? So the people that you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis outside of this truth, outside of the brotherhood, all right, they shouldn't be knowing, you know, everything that you're involved in, man. Okay? They might they might know that you're that you that you believe in that you're an Israelite, but they don't gotta know the, that you're, you know, out there on the streets teaching or you know, they don't gotta know that, you know, you're in you're in GMS or whatever Israelite group you're in. Okay, they don't they don't gotta know these things, man. Okay, they don't even gotta know the the whole doctrine. All right. They don't you ain't really gotta tell them anything, man. All right. And that's using wisdom, man. You know, brothers call that going into uh Clark Kent mode. Clark Kent mode because Clark Kent, when he was at when he was at work, you know, I think he, he was working for like a newspaper, um, a newspaper company, right? He wasn't going around telling people that he was Superman. Nah, man, he, he kept that he kept that to himself, or you know, a handful of, you know, trusted individuals, man. Which the only people that we can trust are, you know, the Brotherhood, man, it's the sincere brothers, because you got a lot of guys out there that are not sincere. All right. So let's, let's 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 move on. Um in Psalm chapter 41, verse 9, it says, Yea, my own familiar friend in whom I trusted did eat of my bread. Have Salakia. Psalms 41 and 9. Yea, my own familiar friend in whom I trusted, which did eat of my bread, have lifted up his heel against me. That's going into uh Judas Iscariot, man. Okay. Here it is, you sitting at the Passover with the Lord, all right? And the Lord already knew that Judas Iscariot was going to betray him, 
All right, but this guy, he was sitting at the Passover, knowing damn well that he was about to go uh, meet up with them uh, scribes and Pharisees and the chief priests and and cut a deal to, to um you know you know uh hand hand over the Lord. Okay. And that, that's 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 that just shows you, man, that you know you got some wicked jakes out there, man. Even in this thing of ours, man. All right. The scriptures say this. All right. Matthew chapter 24, verse 10. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. All right. Yeah. Okay. As a matter of fact, we got we to gotta read up a couple verses. Matthew chapter 24, verse 8, it says, All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. All right. So it says all these are the beginning of sorrows, man. And we're approaching those times, man. We see we see uh, inflation. We see countries dropping dro drop the dollar. Okay. We see, uh, you know, false flags, cyber attacks. Okay. Food shortages. All right. You know, these are all these are all indications, man, that you know, we're in the beginning of sorrows, man. They talk about a, a new variant of the uh COVID nineteen. All right. So people are thinking that, you know, they about to go back things about to go back to normal, but they don't they don't understand, man, that you know, this 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 Edomite, this devil, he's on he's on borrowed time, man. And you know, he has a short time left. There's not much time that he has left, man. Okay? And it says, Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. He shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Yeah. And who's the ones that's gonna be delivering us up? A lot, a lot, a lot of a lot of a lot of um a lot of our family members, man, you know, they they potentially might do that, man. Okay. You know, people try to uh, you know, get you arrested for spe for speaking his word. All right. That's why you gotta watch who you who you uh who you who you uh deal with. Okay, the scriptures say never trust thine enemy. And who are enemies? Two thirds of the nation of Israel, man. And these other nations. Okay? And these women too. Pursuant to uh Micah chapter seven, verse ten. Okay? It says, and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. Yeah, because when, when the Most High bring that that uh, that uh fire down, that tribulation down, okay, that's when, that's when the real test is going to begin, man. Okay? And that's when people are going to start being offended and, you know, they're going to, um, you know, a lot of people are going to get weak, man. Okay? Should even people that you thought that was down with you, you know, whether it be a woman, which, you know, your woman ain't really down with you, but, you know, you might have a woman that might, you know, quote unquote, believe. But guess what? In that day, when when the famine hits, okay, when it, when it's a lack of bread out here and 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 uh, Joe Biden is, is 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 announcing that, you know, anybody that's involved in uh, domestic terrorism and you report them. You know, we'll give you free food or, you know, so forth and so on. You know, there's a very high chance that they're going to deliver you up to, to be to be afflicted, man. The scriptures say you shall be brought before kings and governors and princes, man. Okay? And that's going to happen again because it happened, you know, 2,000 years ago. And it's going to happen again. It's going to happen again in this time, man. Go read about it. You can read about it in Second is the Sixteenth Chapter, man. You know, but in that day, like it says, then it shall be known who are my chosen. Okay, and the Lord is gonna what? The Lord's gonna um fight for us, man. All right, and ultimately, 
whatever our lot is in this troop, whether it's to be a martyr or you know to make it through, we're still gonna we're still gonna uh we still gonna be all right. We still gonna we still gonna get our reward. Okay. So yeah, man. So just be careful who you tell who you tell who you give information to, man. Really, don't tell anybody outside this truth. Nothing, man. Okay. That's that's the real. That's the real uh message. Don't tell anybody anything. That's that that's not in this truth, man. They don't need to know anything, man. Okay. Use wisdom when you out and about in this world. Okay, because the devil is coming down with that great wrath, man. Alright, so with that, hope you hope you've been edified. And I'm gonna say shalom.